Oh my god, you guys. Okay, I'm back. I just knocked out another female scorpion and a male scorpion. So they're knocked out right now. But over here is an Alpha Carno, level 50. I'm already trying to hit it right now with my arrows, just kind of knock it out. But I might as well get my Gigantosaurus over here. Can he hear me? I don't know if she can hear me from all the way over there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to command her over here to kill the uh, Carnotaurus. The Alpha Carnotaurus. That'd be a really, really good early kill. Get some tons of XP. Tons of level ups. There we go. Is she going to get the kill? <gasps> 3,366 damage. Holy, that thing is down. Yeah, man, that thing died so quickly. And she harvested it to death flesh, I believe. What all she get from that? What all those guys drop? Man, she actually had a little bit of blood down here by her feet, but that's nothing compared to 30, 40 something thousand heck and half. 50 level ups and oh my god. Uh, I was about to say, like, sh I should have saved that for the quad XP thing later, but nah. That'd be a little bit lit. I'd have to like spend like two minutes of the, I think 10 minutes of that just to get back up here. Well, you know, going from that, maybe even longer, because that's pretty deep in the cave now. I remember, sheesh. Yeah, so it wouldn't be worth it if I got the quad uh, and then came back here. But 15 level ups, golly! Oh my gosh, we're going to have to take care of that here in just a moment, but I do want to tame these scorpions before they wake up. So, boom, boom. I think it was this level 20. Yeah, level 20 right there. She's already eaten one right there, so probably don't need to give her another a uh, another thing. And this is the male level 70 over here, so I might want to give him an opiate just to kind of get him to uh, to eat a little bit faster because he is a lot higher level than the female over there. Probably giving these guys way more uh, food or spoiled meat than they need, but it's spoiled meat. What am I going to do with it, right? <laughs> I'm like, I have so much of it. I have way more spoiled meat than I have, uh, like, narcotics to combine it. WWW! Nope, that's not going to be a name. <laughs> All right, come here there, or, oh, wait, hold on, this would be... Oh, okay, well, I ran out of Pokeballs after this, so I guess this is a good thing that we finally got a heckin' male and a bonus female over here, so we let this one male breed with four heckin' females at a time. That's kind of crazy and maybe even demonetizable if you think about it too much, <laughs> but we can, we can get four eggs at a time and then wait, like, who knows how many hours or just, you know, slow-mo 10 that heckin' time thing. <laughs> <laughs> cool down, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Just slow-mo 10 that cool down, and then, oh, jeez, what am I doing? This isn't even tamed yet. Uh, she should, oh yeah, I was about to say, she should have eaten right there, and she did, so that's good. All right, well, let's grab that back. Uh, boom, there we go, put her in this final remaining Pokeball right there, boom. And now we have four females, one male, going to get eight, uh, not eight, jeez. Going to get four scorpion egg, like scorpion eggs at a time, and then we can turn those into scorpion egg kibble. And then, of course, we need to basically just do two and a half cycles of that, and we'll have ten scorpion egg kibble. And yeah, I was about to say, like, is it possible for us to get like having twin eggs? But no, it is possible for you to get twins from eggs, but you don't get like two eggs at once. I don't think. I don't think they lay like two eggs at once. You only get like multiple critters from one egg if i remember correctly from my alpha rgs back in scorched earth I'm trying to remember but yeah i think that's how it works okay now we're in the world oh all the way over there so we have to head all the way over there oh, oh i forgot about the 15 level ups let's get this thing up to 50 000 health. there we go and then do the rest on melee damage up to 251.6 percent melee all right let's find a critter to soak up some heckin' damage to see how much we do now. So we did like, what, 3200 or something like that damage per hit just moments ago? When we had like 217% or something like that melee damage? Now we're to 251. How much are we going to do? Let's skip over to the dude. It probably has some armor. 3700, yep, and even to the dude that had armor. 3000 damage to that one. Golly! All right, man, I'm feeling great about this Gigantosaurus. Hashtag great about that Gigantosaurus. That, that's probably way too long. That's probably only going to fit on the screen if I put that on. <laughs> Jeez. All right, let's head on over to the cave entrance now. And let's go perform the rampage to end all rampages. I don't know. Maybe we're going to have an even bigger rampage when and if we tame or if and when. I don't know which way I should have said that. Whatever. <laughs> when and if, if and when we tame that alpha heck and rex here in the future. Because golly, that thing's level 95 baseline. It's probably going to be level uh, like 134 something like that uh after the heckin taming bonus right sheesh that's going to be crazy it has like 30,000 health right now it, of course it's done to get like a reduced health thing like the gigantosaurus so it's probably going to get like it's probably going to have like 40,000 health right off the heckin bat right what is that thing allosaurus yeah it looks like an allosaurus yeah that's going to be one thing about the gigantosaurus though 
Because it's, 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 it's going to like it's going to pick up so much dead. Oh yeah, we got straight up loot from the uh, from the Alpha Cara too. Got some black pearls, some guns, some random weapons, and a little bit of probably. Oh yeah, look at that. We got sapphires from uh, Alpha Caros. Not too bad. Not too bad. So rubies from Alpha Rexes, amethyst from Gigantosaurus. Just straight up, just regular Gigantosaurus. Uh, sapphires from Alpha Carnos. Uh, emeralds from Alpha Raptors. Does that cover all the gems? I think so. I'm not thinking of an, uh, another gem. Amethyst, Emerald, Ruby. Yeah, that should cover all the gems if I remember correctly. Okay, so now we know which critters drop what heckin' gem colors. Oh my god, Arthropleros. Yeah, we're gonna have to kill all- And we're getting Titanobos too. One-shotting each and every one of these critters! Oh man, let's go to first-person mode! Oh yeah, we have Mantises over here getting some organic Palmer, that's great! I can't even- Oh man, Rubble Golem, where is it? Where is it? Oh yes, oh man, I'm already over encumbered. Jeez, from what? Oh yeah, oh, we must have killed a Rubble Golem right there or something. Because we're already holy. I'm gonna have to drop crystal. I'm gonna have to drop raw metal and obsidian. Oh man! I'm gonna have to drop random, uh, random weapons and stuff. Golly, I guess this is one downside to having such a trash, uh, carry weight baseline. I guess right. Can we get that up to a thousand? Ah, it's gonna take a few level ups to get there though. But there he goes. Now, now it's at 922. A little bit better, but ah, kind of sucks that we spent a couple right there. Uh, we have bats over here as well. 3,700 damage per hit to these dumb critters. Oh my god, we haven't even gotten to the heckin' uh, four times quad XP thing just yet, and we're, we're already raking in those level ups hardcore, even after! And I'm already over encumbered again! Uh, Black Pearls weighs a lot. I really want to keep, like, the... I don't really, I don't need the Black Pearls, you guys already know, we, we can get tons of Black Pearls at home, it doesn't even matter. Organic Palmer doesn't even matter either, sheesh, organic, how much is that weigh? Uh, not too much, sword right there, I'll drop that, I'll drop all that stuff, I don't even care. Of course, we're going to need to draw the raw, or drop the raw stuff. Drop the heckin' stone stuff as well, as well as the straight up stone. I'll drop the guns, because I'm never going to use a heckin' simple pistol, like, come on. <laughs> so let's drop all this heckin' trash, there you go. Is there any other random gun? Oh yeah, ah, it must be, ru it's gotta be rubble golems I'm like randomly killing, right? Kinda sucks, I'm like, I'm accidentally killing rubble golems. You guys remember we had some trouble with them earlier on, when we came in with a manic armor, I think, right? I'm gonna drop heckin' black pearls and get comments about it. <laughs> I'll keep that uh, Alpha Carno, or uh, Alpha Carno, yes. Alpha Carno arm right there. I'll keep the uh, silk, because that's decently good. I'll drop this stuff, just because I, who cares, right? And the other stuff, I don't care. Alright, now we can get these mantises and orthopros and other things killed. And I mean, pretty much, oh, another, another rubble golem? I don't know what that, oh, I think, yeah, I think that, yeah, that's a rubble golem right there. You can see him, he's freaking out. Well, let's just try and avoid him, just because I don't want heckin'. Oh, there's another one right there, just popped up out of the heckin' rocks. I'm like, he is a literal rock. 3,800 damage now to these critters. I'm not even seeing a dent in our heckin' health now, you guys. Jeez. Now we're up to 261% melee damage. I could probably get rid of the, uh, spoiled meat now. That does weigh, like, 50 extra heckin' panels right there. So, hey, might as well clean that up, right? Alright. Oh, another rubber golem right there. How much health do those guys have? I, oh yeah, I pretty much one-shot them. They have 4.2k health on that one. So I pretty much one-shot them, so just two heckin' hits from the Gigantosaurus basically kills them right there, jeez. Even if they're like higher level too. Anyways, kinda wanna take another break right now and get another level up applied, boom. And I believe just down this hill... No, 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 we have to wind around and then go down, and then we get to the quad and XP thing. I guess we can kill him, but not harvest his dead body. Did that harvest anything? Uh, it did not. Okay, that's good. As long as we don't harvest his dead body, then we're good. Cause I don't want to can carry that. I guess I'm pretty sure these guys give us pretty good XP, right? So might as well actually kill them if we're going to get some. Especially because I'm like 4,000 or so health. I mean, surely they're going to give us pretty good XP. XP. Anyways, let's get the organic Palmer. I'm literally dropping decently rare stuff, decently valuable stuff, but I don't care because I have nice hair. <laughs> oh, look, look at this heckin' party hat I have right now. You can't even see my heckin' hair because it's all tied up in that party hat. <laughs> All right, well, let's continue on in this cave. Hashtag continue on in the cave. I don't even know that might not even fit on the screen either. Who knows? Is that prime? Oh, yeah, we need to find like elite slash prime titanobos. Because remember, we did see one over here last time we we're in this cave. Oh, stamina right time. But we did see one in here last time we we're in this cave. And they do drop uh, prime hide whenever you harvest of dead bodies. Oh, yeah, and I guess we can get more of this titanobo venom in general. Because, of course, we're going to need that for sedatives. But of course, I'm going to need straight up, uh, what do you, rare mushrooms and rare flowers. 
alongside that. And unfortunately, I haven't had any luck finding any more beaver dams, so that kind of sucks. Either way, right up there is where we had the heckin' conundrum with the rubble golem, I believe, right? Uh, or we got knocked out by like an arthropleura or a scorpion or something. Or, no, 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 our medic armor not got knocked out, and we're basically heckin' vulnerable. I don't know, I think, I think our armor broke at that point in time, I don't remember. I don't know why I did that right there, I just picked up heckin' stuff I'm gonna throw out anyways, but what? Oh, is that? That's no, just a regular titanobo. Okay, I need to figure- I need to get used to the heck of scale. We're doing over 4,000 damage per hit now, you guys. Golly, that's good stuff. Oh man, I'm gonna take another stamina, but how's his stamina? Man, he has like no stamina. How's his stamina baseline? Stamina baseline is at 22, so it's a lot better than carry weight baseline, so I guess- We- we could probably do a few of those initially, because you do get a few level ups right off the bat just by discovering the heckin' Explorer note. I'll read the Explorer note, like, later. But right now, I, I think it's one of those, like, 3D Explorer notes too, so it's going to be pretty interesting here in just a moment. But I think it's like right up here, you guys, so... Yep, there it is right there. There's the Explorer note. Or whatever you want to call that thing. But it basically going to give us heckin' quad XP, right? So definitely want to go discover that while riding on our Gigantosaurus. Because we're, we're already maxed out at level 150 or something like that, right? So definitely want to be riding on the Gigantosaurus. We do have that risk of the Gigantosaurus hitting Rage Mode and, like, dismounting us and stuff. But I don't think we're going to have to worry about that for quite a while, especially with these low heckin' tier critters in this cave, you know? <laughs> Anyways, how's the carry weight doing here? Just before we start the actual rampage, right? Uh, we could probably get rid of more organic palmer, maybe some more of those random heckin' tools. Now, I might as well... Where is it? Isn't it harvest settings? Disable item collection. Disable resource harvesting. I think that's what I want to do, right? So if I kill this Arthropleura... Okay, yes, I do not har- okay, there we go. I was probably going to get comments like, hey, why don't, why don't you turn off resource hard? But there we go. But if we kill a critter and it drops, like, Titanobo of Venom, I think we still pick that up, I believe. Speaking of such, we can myth bust that real quick. Yep, two Titanobo of Venom, so that's great. I definitely need to remember that for other critters. I think the mech is basically like that, but by default, because it doesn't actually, like, harvest dead bodies. But it can, like, pick up, like, Titanobo of Venom or whatever else, like, critters have in their inventories, you know? But anyways... Now that we're, we basically have the heckin' full inventory problem solved, I might as well drop the heckin' chitin. I'm, I'm like, I've got billions of chitin back home, it doesn't even matter. Hide, you guys already know about that stuff. I'm like, I might as well keep the hide, it, it barely weighs anything, right? So there you go, keep the narcotics, because I have basically none back home. Get rid of the berries, because I'm like, the heckin' gigantic source can't even eat that, right? I'm like, I think it can, but like, it doesn't naturally eat it. I don't know, maybe it does? I have no idea. I know you can give it heckin', oh man, am I stuck? Must have been stuck right there. I know you can give it like heckin' narco berries and they'll eat it and they'll, you know, get knocked out and whatever else. But there we go! Can we even discover it from here? Are we too big? Uh, oh! Oh, baby, baby! Quad XP time! Let's get out of there! Look at the top right corner, special explorer note found, quadruple XP! Oh, geez, didn't mean to dismount right there, but holy heck, you guys! Oh man, how many levels did we get right there? Two whole level ups, we lad. Gonna get me some more stamina right off the bat. You want a celebratory? I probably shouldn't have killed all those critters nearby because now I don't have any critters to kill. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, but whatever. Let's just keep going around the cave here. Try and find more things to kill. Try and take advantage of this quad XP that we have for the next 10 minutes or more. Less than that now, golly. Uh, is that an alpha? No, that's not an alpha. That's just a red titanobo, just a randomly red one, okay. Look at that, already raking in level ups here with the quad XP, so every critter we kill... Is it basically like killing four of them? What do we have, Akatinas there? Yeah, Akatinas, just trash, heckin' snail critters. Uh, looks like more of the pleuros up there. These are pretty good critters to kill. If we have rubble golems, that'd be gr- Oh, jeez, did the game crash? Oh, I thought the game crashed right there, but it didn't, that's good. <laughs> oh, speaking of rubble golem, there- Is that a Yep, that's a rubble golem. Okay, well, let's go kill that thing. I- Oh man, there's another one back there, too. Do I need to regen some stamina? And I'm not going to pick up his heckin' trash either, so that's good. Alright, seven more level ups right there. Just a tick under 300% melee damage, you guys. <laughs> Let's see how much damage we do to this guy. I assume he has pretty good armor, so I don't think. Is that him? Oh! I guess I've killed a... I guess I killed him without even looking at him. Jeez. But I assume these heckin' literal rock creatures have pretty good armor. So they're probably soaking up a pretty good amount. So that 4,400 damage is probably like... 4,600, maybe 5,000 if I heck can kill like a Titanobo or something like that, right? Oh, a bunch of bats up there. Nice. That's going to be good. I do want to... Hopefully hopefully all the critters like respawn behind me and stuff. We just kind of backtrack. 
and just like kind of go back. Yeah, 40, eh, 44 inch. Okay, I guess the rubble golem don't, don't actually have any like armor stuff, but those heckin' bats are going fuck. I am golly! Level 45 Titanobo. Basically killed four of you guys right there with that heckin' hit. <laughs> Got more Titanobos over here, but I do want to mainly kill Arthur Pro. Arthur. Arthur Plurus. Rubble Golems, other high level hard hitting creators that are going to give us a bunch of heckin' XP to take advantage of this quad XP we have. Oh, jeez, I'm stuck. Oh, no, not really. Okay, that's good. <laughs> uh, Alright, going to need to take a stamina break with eight more level ups. Oh my gosh! 326% melee damage! Alright, ma man, we're probably going to hit like 10,000 damage per hit here decently soon if I keep killing more of these heckin' critters, right? Man, I kind of want to leave out of here now. Like, leave out of the cave. I'm like, eh. I feel like we're going to get more XP from killing, like, Carnos and Allosauruses and other creators outside, right? Do you guys feel that way? I feel that way. Because I'm like, we're killing... Probably the biggest hard-hitting creator we're killing is the Rubble Golem. After that, maybe the Arthropora? Maybe, like, a Prime or an Alpha, heck, and Titanobo or whatever else? But everything else around here is basically just, just throwaway critters, right? I really want to get out of this cave now I think about it. Go kill proper. I'm like, we're probably going to find T-Rexes out there, too. I think you could find T-Rexes out in the desert biome, right? But go out there and kill T-Rexes. Kill Allosaurus. Kill Carnos. Kill Kentrosaur. Kill Velanosaurus. Kill a big variety of different critters. And try and get some level ups over there. I'm like, we have 10 minutes of which... How, I don't know how much... Oh, man, that's pretty close to being halfway done. Holy heck, we're at like six minutes. Six and a half minutes right there. Golly, six and a half minutes left. Not too bad. Might as well kill these piranhas over here just because might as well just take care of them while we're on the way out of this cave. Because I'm pretty the back of the, the back of the cave is over there. The terminal for the cave is like over there. Hopefully some critters have respawned back over here now. Let's see if we could poop. There you go, poo. Does that actually help with the stamina? I do not know. But I'm gonna try and skiddily dot on out of here as fast as I can. Man, I, I didn't I say earlier in the episode that I oh, what was that? What's that egg? Oh oh that's not an egg. That's not an egg. Oh, rubble golem randomly. Kill that thing, it's immobile. <laughs> Literal rock creature is immobilized. 5,303 damage! Man! That is crazy. How much? We, we already doubled. We've already doubled the damage output. Hashtag double the damage. Which way are we? Okay, we're going to the right. But we can go to the left and find some critters. Uh, I think we're going to go to the right, right? Uh, I feel like so, yeah. 367% melee damage. I kind of want to hold up on that, though, because every time we do level ups, I'm, I'm kind of sitting around doing absolutely not really nothing. So yeah, we're basically putting this to waste. Hopefully we can find another re like regular explorer note outside. Anything is anything going to respawn? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm like, I, I've se we've seen a few explorer notes and even discovered a few explorer notes. Oh, man, we're halfway out. Jeez. At least we got a pretty good amount of level up so far, but uh, not not. Not satisfying my heckin' hunger, my thirst for a billion level ups. Oh, I even said it was probably going to be like level 300 by the time we leave the cave, but nah. Seems like we're just running out of critters over here, you guys. We need to hurry up and skiddily not daddle on out of here. So let's hurry up. Uh, oh yeah, I guess one one downside to him not or her not being able to harvest dead flesh is that she's eventually going to run out of food. Cause how much how much raw stuff? She has literally no food on her. Okay, well there you go. Was she even eating? I have no idea what she's even eating to, like, replenish her stamina and health and whatever else. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways, it's just skiddily don daddle. Well, at least we'll have, like, maybe a few minutes outside killing, uh, whatever else. Whatever critters spawn out there, right? Uh, just a bunch of dead bodies here. We have some of these bats here, but I think they might just be there naturally. They, oh, rubble golem. Oh, that must be one, one of the rubble I literally one-shotted a rubble golem. Golly! Is that Mantis? Oh, I guess that Mantis was still there. It must be a brand new spawn or just didn't even move whenever we went past him the first time. <laughs> Alright, stamina break time. Time to poo. There we go. Isn't, doesn't he drop a massive poo? Or is it just a large one? I don't remember. But I know one of them is really, really good for fertilization. Might as well kill this guy real quick. Just because, hey, when I, I'm like, two damage. Remember, we have a really... I just one shot at him. Yeah, and I'm not bragging. <laughs> remember, we have a 300... Oh, jeez. We have a... Th oh, golly. I keep on... I think that the heck game's crashing, but I think it's just the graphics adjusting to us leaving the cave. Alright, hopefully we find more crit. Okay, we're already seeing heckin' camel sources out here. Two of them. Not seeing any uh, carnivores just yet. Where are we going to get? I know we're going to get on the outer rim. I don't know how to get there from here. I'm probably up there. 
Let's try and kill anything and everything in our path, though. While we wait for our stamina to regen, let's get rid of that. Let's drop all this random garbage that we have in our inventory for whatever reason. There we go. Uh, boom. There we go. I th it's mainly the mantises. Hashtag mainly the mantises, right? <laughs> that drop, like, random tools, the stone tools and all that trash. Let's take care of that guy. There we go. Uh, what is that thing? Oh, that's just a red... Heckin' uh, Camel Swords right there. What is the technical name of this guy? It's not Camel Swords. Morelotops, that's what it was. Yeah, Morelotops. Kill this guy. There you go. Got him. We have about three minutes left on our four times t uh, heckin' XP thing. But quad XP. Hurry up. There you go. Thankfully, we already knocked down, or we automatically knock down trees whenever we walk over them, so that's great. Thorny Dragon up there. Oh, man. What is that sound? What is that weird? Is that the sound of meteors hitting the... Uh, I think it is. I think we're like banging sound is the sound of a meteor hitting like the, the outer shell safety force field thing <laughs> of the uh, of the desert biome i believe right so anyways remember we we seem to find carnivores on the outer edge here for whatever reason so i definitely want to go out here and stay out of the middle area because it seems like they're always out here you know anyways catch your sources up there they should be decent right i'm like they are pretty resilient but <laughs> they're not going to be very resilient against a heckin gigantosaurus right golly there you go, Morel tops down. Catch a sword with 5,700 damage per hit. Oh! Let's go up to almost 400% melee damage now. Holy. All right, let's see if we can find any heckin' hard-hitting critters. Oh, man, there's one right there. What is that thing? Is that like baby Carno over there in the background? Kind of a Christmas Carno. <laughs> it looks like it. It's a weird, like, green one. It's trying to kill that Morel tops. What is that thing? I'm gonna kill it in one hit, though. Oh, got it. Yeah, no, yeah, it was just level 90 regular Carno. It wasn't like an adolescent or something. I guess it just looked like a baby Carno, just because of how heckin' huge my Gigantosaurus is, right? Hey, look at that. We found some Ekuses, like, heckin' 50 episodes into the series, right? Jeez. <laughs> I remember we tried to tame one early on, but we we, we, we went past heckin' Ekuses so fast. Sheesh. All right, get two more levels here. Just because, pff, why not, right? There you go. How much more? About a minute left. Not having much luck finding other hard-hitting critters here, you guys. Might just have to deal with what we've got. Looks like a thorny dragon down here might want to drop down. Near the river, we could probably find some spinos. That'd be great. Almost 6,000 damage per hit. That's great. Man, don't mind if I do. It looks like he's about to get another. Yep, boom. Another level up. Hey, dude. What's that down there? Oh, wait, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it Easter Bunny time? I need to keep my eyes peeled for Easter Bunnies, because sometimes these uh, little kangaroo fellas can be an Easter Bunny. That's like a rare spawn, right? A s rare a spawn. Yeah, pro co copter, whatever you call them, miolas, I call them. <laughs> See if we can find any more of them around here, maybe even find the Easter Bunny, because that'd be pretty rare. I've never... I've seen the Easter Bunny once. Throughout my, like, four or five heckin' arc playthroughs, I've seen them once. Never tamed it or whatever. I've killed it. Mainly as a myth bust, but... <laughs> Oh man, we have 10 seconds left. I need to go kill that Carno there in the background. I don't know if I could do that in six, five, four, three, two. No, it's not gonna happen. No, man, the timer ran out. There you go, Carno down, but we're doing 6,000 damage per hit now. Sheesh, that's so looking good. Not gonna complain about that at all. Was that a Baryonyx or a uh, Caprasuchus? Yeah, character. Whatever. <laughs> Somewhat similar, I guess you could say. Anyways, let's go across the river here. Looks like we have a thorny dragon there in the background causing a commotion. Let's go murder him. As well as the heckin' Kentra Sources. Oh, never mind, he got he got killed by the Kentra Sources. I forget how heckin' good these guys can be, especially when they gang up like that when there's three of them. But they're not very good against a gigantic heckin' Gigantosaurus, right? Philonosaur, what level? 45? Pfft, garbage. Trash. Doesn't heckin, heckin' have a chance against me. I don't think anything here has a chance against me. Not even a Rubble Golem that has like four or five thousand health. If you find a T-Rex, they have like about the same amount of health. We could one-shot them, no problem. If we find a heckin' Spino up here, they have about the same amount of health. Maybe even less, I don't remember. They're not gonna have a heckin' chance against us either, sheesh. I'd say that Quad XP... I'd say it was a success. How many levels do we have? What level are we right now? We're level 2 seven. Um, honestly... I think especially because we got that... That Alpha Carno before we went into the cave. Didn't we come over here and we were like level like... I think we we're baseline, right? But we had like 10 levels right at the bat, so we're like level 205 or something like that, right? Or 2... 204? Because I think we are level 194 when we first came over here, and then of course we already had 10 levels. Honestly, how many levels are we right now? 278? We got 74 levels by just killing random critters and then doing the quad XP thing. That's not even bad. I was anticipating maybe 100 levels, 
or something like that. But honestly, 74 in the end, <laughs> maybe even more here if I kill more of these heckin' critters. Jeez, Velanosaur right there, very interesting color, but <laughs> now he's color red because he's covered in blood and dead. That was a pretty cool little rhyme right there. Someone should turn that into a heckin' song. <laughs> All right, well, that was a decent little rampage right there. Like I said, I'd say it was a success. Don't want to mess that up or else I'll get demonetized. Sheesh. <laughs> But I'd say it was a success. Level 278, especially with the uh, turning off the uh, the harvesting thing to make sure we didn't heck, get slowed down every time we killed like a critter. Juvenile morale tops, I don't care. There you go, you're dead. Jeez. <laughs> Golly, I'm like, we could probably find another explorer in around here and get some more heck and double XP, you know? But I feel like it doesn't even matter. I feel like I feel like we could head home, breed the uh, the Karn, or uh, geez, breed I'm like, we do have Karnos we could breed, right? I'm pretty sure we have a mixture of genders there, right? But... What I meant to say was breathe the scorpions, the uh, pulmon of scorpions or whatever they're called. Because remember, we have one heckin' male, four females, so that male has a lot of work to do, <laughs> if you think about it. Jeez, but don't think about it too much or else uh, I'll get demonetized, okay? Jeez. Anyways, I think I'm going to pause the recording, head back home real quick, and uh, we can just kind of let those scorpions out loose and just kind of let them do what they need to do, if you know what I mean, so... <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Let's kill this uh, Allosaurus real quick. Boom, Allosaurus. How much health? 600. Pff, that's nothing. <laughs> that is absolutely nothing. All right. Well, like I said earlier, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. Oh, ho, 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 you guys. Look what I stumbled across. Now, I was coming out of the desert biome, saw this bad boy, and saw that he was a yellow. Or, pff, cut that out of the video. Oh! When in the world is it activated from this far away? Okay. <laughs> but saw that it was a red supply drop. Remember, this is, uh... I really just do damage right there by doing... I wasn't even touching it. Sheesh. All right, well, whatever. But <laughs> I went home, I grabbed some, uh, carnivore baby food for our Gigantosaurus, who has 421.6% melee damage, 50,000 health. We're going to be giving him the carnivore baby food. Boom. I even gave him some regular raw meat as well, just to kind of, uh, feed his hunger. He's, of course, naturally just going to have... Especially whenever he's regen and stamina and all that kind of stuff. Pretty much nonstop. Random Kalikatherium over here. I wonder if that's like the only... 6,200 or 323. Jeez, that's good eatings. Seems like every time I come into here, I do damage to the uh, the force field. Two house downs remain. We'll have to find these two. Oh, looks like one of them right there. No, that's the... I think that's the Kalikatherium. All right, well, stay away from the... Uh, the or uh, the, the... What did we call that? The force field. <laughs> stay away from that. Seems like it's just a strike. Remember, then we're going to have wyverns here. We're going to have corrupted wyverns. Um, what else are we go? We're going to have the enraged trike. We're going to have T Rex's spinos. Corrupted T Rex's corrupted spinos. Speaking of such, looks like we have a. No, that's a corrupted. Uh, what looks like a carno. Of course, this is going to be the last one, I believe. Oh, yep. Defended wave zero successfully. All right. Remember, our Gigantosaurus does have a roar ability. Oh man, look at that. Already getting critters spawning in. Uh, I'm not seeing any from that direction right now. But we do have a Smino here. We should be able to one shot. Tyrannodon right there. That should be decently hard to get. I'm like, uh, actually, I'm pretty tall. I should be able to hit it, right? Uh, we are somewhat slow. Oh, 1400, dam 1400 damage to the force field. Going to want to watch out for that. Holy heck. Okay, I kind of want to come over here. Onto this side, because they are doing direct damage to the force field. And I'm like, if we have the force wheel, force field, you might as well use it. Might as well defend the force field. So there we go. Yeah, see those pteranodons up there? I have nothing. I have I have no way of uh, taking them out. Uh, Dimorphodon right here. Oh, jeez, he just went flying. <laughs> Stego right here. Kind of want to wrap around a bit. Oh, yeah, look at that. Looks like we have some spinos and stuff over there we need to take care of. I do still have harvesting turned off, so that is good. I think the uh, I think the shield has 10,000 or so HP, so let's see. Oh, man. I've probably eaten through like half of that already. Jeez. I don't know how much he actually has. Whatever, it's, it's probably gone by now. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Jeez, it's already fallen. How much else does this thing have? I think it has 50,000, right? Either way, I think we do 1,400 damage in general. Like, we were doing it to the force field just a moment ago, so I assume... Yeah, it looks, it looks like we just did 1,400 directly to the heckin' thing right there, and then 42 just by touching it. Golly. Let's see if we can take care of this turn on before it gets any closer. Ah, oh, man, see it. There's one Tyranon. There's one dumb Tyranon. This is wave one, by the way. Speaking of one. And it, it, he, he goes in, he pecks at it a couple times, and then he heckin' backs off. And I can't even spin around because I'm too huge. Oh, 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 there you go. You made a big mistake there. 12 level. Oh, baby, baby. 
More melee damage. Went from 421 to 462.4. Nice. All right. Kind of want to, I don't know, eat some mac and meat there. Yep. Get that food all the way up. <gasps> Speaking of wyverns, we have one right there. Let's see if we take that thing out. I don't know how much health that has. Oh, 6,010. Almost 7,000. Jeez, I can almost two-shot this guy. Wow. He needs to get over here right now. Come on. Get over here. There, oh man, I just did. Oh, now I'm doing 1600 damage directly to the thing. Oh my god, another wyvern right there. Can I take out this one? Oh, yep, I took out that one. Man, they're going down so heckin' fast and easy. Sheesh. Man, I wasn't even touching the heckin' red thing, and it just, it just took 1600 damage right there. Golly. Another wyvern. Holy, that one's down. That wyvern's down as well. Another wyvern right there. Golly. Looks like, uh. Is that it for the wyverns? Man, doing 7,000 heckin' damage is so crazy! <laughs> I'm like, we have the mech, we're doing, uh, I, I forget how much, like a thousand or so with the gun or something like that, and of course we shot like two or three times at a time. Man, I need to check on the, uh, the actual orbital supply drop right now. It's, pre it's probably decently low with all these, like, accidental 1,400 and now 1,600 heckin' damage. Shots that I'm doing might want to give myself four more level ups to do uh, more melee damage. Let's get ourselves some more health here in just a moment after we hit 500% melee damage. Uh, a Dimorphodon and a Karn right there and another Dimorphodon. I kind of want to get uh, off the gigantic swords and maybe shoot those guys with a shoddy. Just so we don't do any extra accidental damage. 17, oh man. 7,139 damage now. Golly. Kind of want to take them out. What in the world? How'd that not work? I'm only doing 115 damage? Why, why in the world is there like a weird like rock explosion effect there too? That's kind of strange. There you go, got him out and only one heckin' hit. 7,000 damage right there. Okay, let's go check up on the thing. Kind of want to see how much damage we're, uh... It's down, okay, it's not, it's not too bad. It has 100,000 health, not 50,000. Down to 83,000 out of 100,000, not bad. What wave is this, two? I think it's wave two. Might be wave three. I'm not 100,000% sure, but I kind of want to stick by and force feed a little bit right there. We're, we're, we're full health. Golly, we're full heckin' health already. <laughs> like, we, they, we didn't get, like, phased at all from that wave. Like, I, 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 on my mech, I would be heckin', oh man, I need to heal up, I need to heal, oh. But over here, we're, we're soaking in hardcore. Now, I know we have, like, double the heckin' health that our mech has, and we have armor rating, so it's soaking it up, too. I guess the main thing I need to watch out for is the... Uh, what is it called? The Rage ability or something like that? I forget. But that ignores armor rating. Like, it, it, it counts, like, raw damage and stuff. Raw, like, whatever. I guess just raw damage, I guess, is the best way to explain it, right? And I think that's even how it was referred to in the in the wiki while we were reading it a couple episodes ago, right? So, anyways. Spider I just took out that spider just by walking into it. Jeez. Well, I was walking backwards and attacking at the same time, but still. Took out the Parasaur Ethereum. Is it one hit? Maybe not. 7.6k health on him. We do 7.1, so it's going to take two hits. Boom, there you go. I do need to remember we can roar. I don't know if that works on... on... on, on Wyverns. I don't know if it works on them or not. Because it, it... it, like, stuns the opponent, you know? And I don't know if it'll work on a flying-type critter, especially a big one like that, you know? Anyways, time for us to have a break in. Let's keep working towards that 500% melee damage. Another, uh, Dimorphodon right there. I don't know what in the world he's trying to do. Like, he's trying to single-handedly take that down. He's, he's, he's baiting me so I can accidentally do, like, 1,800 heckin' damage to the thing. <laughs> oh, 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 looks like wave, uh, let's, let's actually make sure. Let's see, what wave is this? Wave four of five already. It's only down to 75. Th the, the Gigantosaurus on his own with no, no, uh, no, what do you call the big pig critters? I don't know. Oh, man, that wyvern literally just spawned in. I guess the main thing we need to watch out for is the Enraged Trike. I forget how much health those guys had. What, 100,000? 25,000? I don't know. I guess we'll find out maybe on this wave. Turn on right there. That's not a big threat. I'm mainly waiting on these wyverns over here to get over here. Golly, two hits in their death. <laughs> oh my god, and we're we're not taking direct damage. That's great. It seems like the Gigantosaurus is soaking up the damage. I think the same thing was with the mech, so I don't need to watch like out for my own Danny DeVito character damn like uh, health. Like the, uh, like the Arthropura or whatever, and other poison type critters like that. Sometimes you take damage even while you're mounted on a critter. Like, your, your character takes damage even while you're mounted. Seems like that's not, not the case right now. Anyways, one more level up on uh, melee damage, and that's going to be the end of that, at least for now. And we could probably work, like, that hardcore 
health baseline up to like maybe 75, 80,000. Yeah, let's aim for 80,000 because that, that seems like that's what the Gigantosaurus has like baseline in general. Like all, all wild Gigantosaurus that seem to have like 80,000 like health straight up, unless they're like high level like this guy was. She was like uh, 90,000 or something like that. Did 1700 heckin' damage to the thing. Golly. I'm pretty sure 90% of the damage it has is from me att attacking it with friendly fire. So that was wave 4. This is wave 5. Surely we want to have corrupted, uh, enraged corrupted trikes now, huh? I believe so. There's a train on right there. I don't know where, where he's going, but, uh, not seeing a, uh, oh man, there's another, uh, do you guys see that smokestack in the background? That means there is another, oh man, kill that wyvern just by bagging into it and attacking. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> man, you guys remember episodes ago, we had, uh, man, I still can't remember the name of them right now. Deodons. We had like five, four, five, six Deodons or whatever, alongside the mech, constantly carnivore baby fooding, constantly shooting, targeting down wyverns, uh, targeting down the enraged trikes and stuff. Oh my gosh, and we're just single-handedly taking on every critter, and we're not- we're doing less friendly fire. The, the thing is probably gonna have way more health. Uh, the orbital supply drop right here probably has way more health than the orbital supply drop when we were doing it with the mech and the Deodons and all that, you know? And- and- and even the, uh, the Forest Titan group. Oh my gosh. This- the Gigantosaurus is so heckin' good. Okay, one- one more. Like, 499.8. Like, come the heck on it. it it's right there. <laughs> and she's about to get another level up. You can see that little up, uh, up arrow with that plus sign. They're on the top right corner, indicating her progress to another level up. Oh! OSD defense complete without a single enraged strike! Now, I know I'm- I'm probably going to get comments. Saying, hey, oh my god, only 70 down to 72,000. Holy heck. Oh, I guess the main, ah. The main thing we need to watch out for is uh, his, his her, her care weight's not the best. So we need we need to filter through all the heck and trash. Now remember, we need to grab this stuff. Okay, yeah, speaking of trash, there we go. But I do need metal, though, so. Kalian, ancient Kalian soup. <laughs> uh, let me drop this and this. There you go. Drop those, pick up the ancient Kalian soup, pick up, uh, was that a tech sword, Ingram? Or a straight up tech sword? I don't know. We'll see here in just a moment. Let's grab everything. Don't grab the black pearls. That's instant, uh, immobilization. Uh, blueprint for, I think that was primal heckin' riot, uh, leggings right there. Holy heck. Oh my god! Jeez, that spooked me right there. Oh man, prim primal flight gauntlets. I think that was straight up. Did we get a, uh... I'm not seeing a mech blue. Oh, that was a, a blue. Oh, man. Blueprint for primal tech sword. <gasps> Jeez, we need 22,000 metal ingots. Golly, that's never happening. That's never happening. Oh, my God. Even more over here. We need to hurry up. We need to hurry up before the only. Oh, oh uh, they despawn in about a minute. Oh, fabricated pistol. Golly, pretty good stuff. Kind of want to at least put it on our gigantic sword. So maybe we can kind of fly back home and just kind of. I don't know, get on maybe our enforcer or someone, because I, I forget how much uh, carry weight our enforcer has. Probably a few, uh, maybe like 1.5k or something like that. But should be able to get, uh, like go back and forth from here to the base, which isn't even too far away. We, we, we can definitely... Oh man, we got cooked lamp or uh, mutton chops. Not bad. And Duros too, I forgot what that was for. And just the rest of these are empty cryopods that we're going to be adding to the collection, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because of course we are getting more and more critters and actually storing our critters long term up inside the uh, cryopod and cryo fridge. Don't know if we're going to get the black pearls here though. That would be 98 right there. And 200 right there. 298 of those. Golly! <gasps> Man, and what about over here? Metal and gets us 183 and 36 metal, metal pillars. How are you doing on carry weight? Um, how are we doing on carry weight with me on you? Can basically not move. Ah, oh, man. I kind of want to. How long until these expire? Five. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's grab those. Holy man. <laughs> okay, now let's let's do this little trick. Metal, and then drop it and make an item cache. These last 30 minutes. Yeah, okay, so we can come back here. Uh, oh, man. Oh, I was about to do the same thing with the black pearls, but that didn't work. God. Yeah, whatever. 298 black pearls. Pfft, I'm not going to notice it. <laughs> and I'm not bragging when I say that, but come the heck on. It's true. Anyways, uh, at least we can come back here and get the metal. That's that, that, that's always going to be good. Uh, let's... 382 armor rating tech helmet. Holy heck. 2,000 metal ingots to make that, though. Golly. Three crafts of it. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is single player, so the craft number doesn't even matter to us, so who cares, right? Uh, 1,000 element dusted randomly. Uh, a straight-up primal fabricated pistol. Holy heck. 100 polymer. 
Uh, blueprint. Yeah, I guess we didn't get a, uh, let's send your inventory randomly. Uh, oh, what was that again? Rare tech railgun. Did we unlock that? Didn't, hold on. Uh, rail gun. We did unlock it, but we didn't craft it. Congeal gas balls. We know how to get that. We need to go to the gas, uh, sulfur fields. Uh, kind of to the behind us right now. 120 red gems. I forget how you get that. Or where do you get it? I know that I can see, like, you can get, like, green gem fragments from those things that are near our base right now. 120 metal ingots, that's nothing. 450 polymer, that's nothing. 20 element, that's nothing. 55 blank pearls, that's basically nothing. And that's for a, uh, un or a, uh, common one. What about an uncommon one that we have? The blueprint for of our, yeah. Where's that at? Right there. That would be, no, it's a rare. Holy heck. We need 2,000 of those congeal gas balls. Sheesh. 104 uh, elements, still nothing. 287 black pearls. We could <laughs> we could afford that with the black pearls that just despawned, right? 626 red gems. 2,349 polymer slash organic. Uh, what's it called? Corrupted nodules. That's what it's called. Or organic polymer. That that counts too. I can kill a bunch of mantises. Sure, why not? <laughs> I just have to turn a resource collection back on this guy. Anyways, 626 metal units. That's still nothing, even with the uh, rare class of that or rank or whatever you want to call that. Primal. Riot leggings, I think I mentioned that earlier. Primal tech sword with a 22,000 metal ingots needed to craft it. Jeez! Oh my god! Well, we're ho hopefully going to get a pretty good amount of those here in just a moment. Metal foundations. Sheesh, yeah, that's taking up a lot of carry weight. Like, carry weight right there. Uh, and more black pearls right there I don't need. And I got more random trash over here. All right. Well, I'd say, even though I didn't even come out here, like, looking for a red gem thing. I guess I could drop the raw meat, just kind of get a little bit of carry weight off of us. Can I move a little faster? Ah, a little bit. Go to slow-mo, like, five. There we go. It, it's, it's not too hard to go back home. Just got to go over here and just follow these uh, little things. And we do have, like, 30 in-game minutes to go back there and grab the metal ingots and the metal gateway or whatever that was. Gates or gateway or both. I forget which one it was. Either way, I'm going to head back home, drop off all this trash, and you guys, I think next episode is episode 50, so I need to heck and do some hardcore stuff. I really want to make the, the kibbles, the, the, the scorpion egg kibbles. I really want to breed our scorpions together, get some scorpion egg kibbles, and maybe for our 50th episode special, we can go out there, kill that one Rex, make a heckin' alpha, or uh, kill that one alpha Rex at level 10 if it's still there. Hopefully it is. Kill that level 10 alpha Rex, get the uh, ruby it drops. Craft the Alpha Rex saddle, and then get like 10 Scorpion Egg Kibbles, knock out and try to heck and tame that Alpha Heckin' Rex. That'll be a really good tame. I don't know how it'd be compared to our Gigantosaurus over here, like holy heck. Well, anyways, oh man. We've had a really good few episodes here lately, you guys. I'm having a lot of fun, and I'm definitely looking forward, like I mentioned just moments ago, to episode 50 here next episode. I hope you guys are as well. I'm going to need to offload all this stuff and organize it and all that kind of stuff, and uh, even head back over there, probably on our Enforcer or something, to grab that metal real quick. So we're going to have to end the episode here, and I'll see you guys here next episode with episode 50. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Gotta put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out, so you do not miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Ark Extinction Episode 50. Oh, bye there.